the Ohio Valley Educational Cooperative. You may, may not be familiar, but you will be, and you may already be familiar with Head Start, and you should be excited. Some new programs coming to Louisville. With us now to tell us more, Kim Fithian is with us. You are the Head Start Program Director, right, Kim? That's right, well, at OVAC in Shelbyville. All right, well, welcome to the show. Welcome, Appreciate thank you, you for coming. having us. Of We're course. thrilled to be here. I'm excited. I think a lot of folks are gonna love to hear your information. Also, Donna Taylor, who is the Education Manager. Hi, Donna. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you, you all too. for coming in. Thanks okay, for me. first of all, the Ohio Valley Education Educational Cooperative. Okay, OVEC from now on. Is that okay with you guys? Absolutely. Okay, because it's a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> what exactly is the mission of the OVEC? OVEC is the grantee of our grant that was given to us by HHS. It is the grantee, but it also serves 15 of the surrounding school districts. OVEC is a cooperative and it offers many services from grant writing to exceptional children's services to Head Start services, and the school districts are members of Ohio Valley Educational Cooperative. Okay, and, and Donna, she touched upon some of those programs, but let's talk a little bit about what Head Start is, what the mission there is, and it's much more comprehensive than I thought. Absolutely. I thought it was for, you know, what it says it is. Head Start, let's get, you know, babies and toddlers and young people a, mm -hmm. a chance and, and get them up to speed real quickly. But it's more than that, isn't it? Absolutely. Our, our program serves uh, the whole family. Um, not only do we serve the child, but we also serve our parents. Um, we um, work to get mental health services, um, housing, financial planning, nutrition, health services. So we really want to um, not only give our children that advantage when they start school, um, but also our families. Yeah, so. I, I think this is interesting because it seems to me that a lot of the goal is to, to help families. Like if mom has, has to obviously watch the kids, she can't work. So you're helping her out there. Exactly. And then once she gets involved with the Head Start program, then you can introduce them to other resources uh, for financial planning, for housing, uh, whether food, whatever the case may be. Talk a little bit about that, if you would. I would. We would love, when we interview, when we take applications for the child, they have to be income eligible for our program, but we also want to serve the whole family. So we would employ mom. If she's not working and wants to work, she could fill out an application to be employed at OVEC with us. She could be a substitute. She could work up to a teacher assistant, a teacher, and we do pay for the college for our employees. All right. So interesting. So yeah. you, everything's paid for. How is it funded? Can we you? are funded through Health and Human Services. Um, it's a federal grant, and it is funded, and we are funded yearly. So we received ten point one million dollars for Jefferson County Services. So we're very excited. Donna, from what I understand. Fairdale, Russell neighborhoods, uh, Newburgh area. Mm -hmm. Is this where the new programs will take place and how can people can get more information on those? Absolutely, we're in uh, those three neighborhoods that you just listed and um, in uh, the next year or so, we'll also be opening up in the Pleasure Ridge Ridge Park neighborhood, uh, the Smoketown neighborhood, and the Shelby Park area. Um, and uh, for more information, you can contact um, our office. Uh, can I give you our phone yes, number no, extension? Sure, yeah, sure. You can contact uh, for employment. You can contact Patty Wireman. Um, her our office number is 502-647-3533. She is extension 260. Um, if you're interested in enrolling your children, then you can call 270-33 or 344-5096 extension 102. Okay, and, and what, what will a typical day be? First of all, I guess we should probably set up, what are the, the thresholds here for as far as age? Is it, from what I understand, it's it's pretty much birth to, is it four or five years old? Six weeks. Okay, six weeks up to? Four. Up to four years mm -hmm. old. Up to four years old, and today is very exciting because today is the first day for children at our uh, Russell neighborhood, the Molo Village. So, so you we guys are, are very, celebrating. We're celebrating, <laughs> we're very excited. We were supposed to have about 14 children, infants, toddlers, and preschoolers attend today so we're very excited about that you're looking at some pictures from the grand opening looks like everybody's excited so so Donna what's a typical day what kind of things can kids learn I see you know some of the obviously the the hand-eye coordination mm -hmm. uh, some of the motor skills talk to us about what a day would be like for a child um, well we um, our children come in they are offered um, a range of materials um, that touch on all areas of development we really have a strong focus on social emotional learning um, our curriculum um, deals with the fine motor skills as you talked about, gross motor skills, literacy, um, uh, we have print rich environments. Um, a typical day, there's a, a, a good balance of um, uh, active play and rest periods for children. Um, you know, we feed them a, a morning snack, lunch, an afternoon snack, and there is a rest time during the day. So, um, you know, they pretty much just get a full day of, of fun and learning, and it's 
it's exciting to be a part of. So. Now, and, and Kim, I don't want to be repetitive, but again, I think the resources that are available, because this is so much more than Head Start, which is amazing in itself, but the fact is, you know, if, if you have uh, health issues, mental health issues, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to learn about how to handle your finances so that you are more stable, all of that is available to you through OVEC, right? Absolutely, it is, and it's very exciting. It's a passion of mine to serve children and families and empower them to be all they can be and help them get that head start in life. Yeah, I was going to say, it's obvious both of you are very passionate about this. I would think, and I, and I do want to hear, I always ask folks, <laughs> this has to be rewarding for you when you see children who are excelling at a young age, coming to school ready to go because of your programs. When you see a family that was maybe a little unstable become stable and more mm -hmm. sure of themselves. Don, I see you shaking your yes. head and you as well, Kim. Yes. Don, what's that like for you? It's, it's very rewarding. Um, uh, you know, my aspect of it is looking at the child growth from start to finish, their disability services that we're able to provide, mental health, um, but then to see the whole picture, to see um, a mama who wasn't working get a job, um, to help her balance a checkbook, um, even um, including our fathers in our program. You know, we have a very uh, big uh, uh, father enrichment program that we're working on. So it's just it's just very rewarding to see it from start to finish and see their growth. Yeah, balancing a checkbook. Kim, can I get a quick tutorial on that? Because I'm still not good at that. Huh? Well, I'm not very good at it either. So it's a good thing I have a finance person that does that. But we are open full day, full year. So that's very beneficial to the families and it provides continuity of care. Mm -hmm. So the child can be at our program program nine and a half hours a day, about 230 days a year. So that provides a consistent environment of high quality services. And we do need children to enroll and we also are recruiting staff. We uh, need teachers and teacher assistants in the worst way. So we hope that everyone will see this and will come and apply for their child to have services or apply for them to be employed with Ohio Valley Educational Cooperative. It's a great place to work. We offer benefit package and do pay for college classes. All right, well Kim, Donna, thank you all for coming on. You're thank doing you. God's work. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the new programs here in Louisville. Mm -hmm. And again, check out the website or give them a call and find out all about OVEC and the Head Start programs that are now available here in Louisville.